why not buy a Belgian Shepherd if you don't want a tough working dog? The Belgian Shepherd, more precisely its most well-known variation, the Melanois, is constantly growing in popularity in the western half of the world and among the world's armed forces and special services. Unfortunately, even among the dogs dropped off at a dog shelter to a proportionately greater extent. Why? Anyone who's seen a Belgian Shepherd at work must honestly admit that the spectacle and efficiency that the Melanois is capable of when focused on its task, even for hours, is impressive. This breed, according to our experience, is still considered to be by a conscious group of people as something of a smaller sized German Shepherd-like something, which is beautiful, easier to handle than a larger German Shepherd, and knows exactly what a dog might need to know by himself and what they were able to achieve in John Wick Part 3, few are aware that, for example, a Melanois who are increasingly used in counterterrorism can break the forearm of a man holding a gun with one motion in a sharp situation, and that there are a few breeds that are so unsuitable for a person who is not knowledgeable and has no experience. Why we think it's so? We will summarize it for you in the following five points. Before we go any further, we would like to ask you, if you have not already done so, subscribe to our channel. For you it's a second and a click, but for us, this means a lot. Thank you in advance. Insane need for activity, long life an American company selling GPs collars measured the real activity of 100 dog breeds. The data showed a staggering result for many, as Belgian Shepherds were moving the most on a daily basis in a closed garden, even in the absence of the owner. Of the 100 breeds measured, including Vizslas, Terriers, and Setters, Melanois were active of 103 minutes a day. But there were individuals who moved 323 minutes a day, or five and a half hours on their own, without any encouragement. All this is far, far above average, especially considering the fact that nowadays, according to surveys, average dog owners spend 34 minutes a day walking and moving their dogs on a leash. In addition, fortunately, the Melanois is a very healthy, long-living breed, so the one who chooses such a dog will have to settle for a decade and a half a quarter of his active life, to deal with the dog for long hours every day. This is not an everyday undertaking, and physical performance for the average person of our days, in fact, few people are capable of it. Workaholism, wanting to do something, one of the main virtues of the Belgian Shepherd is the above average desire to work with the utmost will to do something. We can also say that the life of a Melanois is not complete if it cannot work since this is the main meaning and stated goal of his life. For this breed, a one-time weekend trip or a lap on a leash in the neighborhood streets will never be enough, and chewable rubber chickens piled around them will not dampen their unquenchable desire for work. If you are not serving in the armed forces, you will almost certainly need at least one, obedience or agility, but rather IPO or French ring training as continuous occupation. If these types of regular activities are left out of the life of a Belgian Shepherd, there is a very high chance of a permanent deterioration of the dog owner's relationship. You can't do it alone. From what has just been said, it also follows that Melanois are not an ordinary breed with average occupational needs. We have heard from several trainers with considerable experience with them, and we must certainly agree that in the case of a Belgian Shepherd, only a very well-prepared dog owner with serious training experience can achieve results with them alone. A less experienced and persistent but responsible owner sooner or later ends up in a dog school specializing in them or having gained serious experience with them where not only the dog is put in order, but the owner is also taught to speak the Melanois language. In addition, they are able to create the background that a dog with such intensive labor needs. As we just heard from one of the most successful Belgian Shepherd trainers in Central Europe in an interview, a large number of otherwise serious owners and their Melanois dogs end up with them in a rather desperate state when they have to start the entire training program from the beginning and rebuild it block by block. Extreme Prey Instinct 
The Belgian Shepherd is so successful and widely used service dog around the world in part because it has an extreme, above average prey taking instinct. All this reaches such a level in a Melanois that in the case of those who train them, unfortunately, minor injuries can occur in the form of catches, stings, and bites most of which are due to a lightning fast reaction of the dog compared to that of humans and the fact that they focus exclusively on the task at hand. Serious responsible trainers also say that a working line Melanois is not necessarily for families with young children, as a higher voice from the child, a playful run precisely because of the prey instinct, may cause the dog to not react properly and can lead to minor accidents. This is also an aspect that a family that decides to go along with a Belgian Shepherd should think carefully about. Summary We would like to emphasize once again, we consider the Melanois to be one of the best, most intelligent, and effective working and service dogs in the world. However, its appearance, which is otherwise beautiful, can be deceptive to many people, since from such a dog, of small stature and very intelligent physique, rarely infer or even know what the real abilities of the breed are and, above all, needs of them. These are certainly not few, and that nobody thinks a Kalashnikov assault rifle is for sparrow hunting, the dog breed is not for everyday tasks. Such a hyperactive and work-intensive dog such as the Belgian Shepherd, if he does not get from the owner what he is entitled to and what he is naturally has a need for, he will invent and self-isolate himself, which will certainly not meet the needs of the family but also the neighbor and threshold of tolerance. If you're not prepared to put several hours of work a day for up to 15 years to mentally and physically fatigue a dog, do not want to go to a dog school every weekend, work a lot and spend little time at home, it is very likely, in fact almost certain that for the sake of the balance of life for both of you, this is not the breed you should choose.